Harry McQueen, thank you for your time. Thank you for your time, Clint. Nice to meet you. Well, it feels like forever ago I saw this film, Supernova. It must feel even longer for you, thanks to a global pandemic. Now, um, ha- it, it's been in cinemas in some parts of the world, I assume, just not this part of the world. God, mm. it must have been like the longest nightmare for you, added to everything <laughs> else going on in the world. Oh, and that's, oh, it's been a joy, but it's been, uh, yeah, it's been quite an incremental process. It sort of came out in America in January and then it's, yeah, it's done various other countries around the world and happily now is, yeah, we've got it. So, And I think it is a cinema experience that needs to be seen because it is so beautiful mm-hmm. and, you know, you, you, it, your breath is taken away by some of the way the shots are, let alone the emotional side of things. Um, you actually researched a lot of this thing, uh, all, all the areas associated with this film firsthand, I understand. Yeah, I, I sort of know the locations, most of the locations reasonably well, because I, I, that part of the world, I've got some family that live there and I was writing some of the film when I was staying with them, you know, over the years. So, yeah, it's um, it's a kind of in that way, I suppose it's very personal. You know, it's sort of it's it's shot in places that I know and it's sort of based on people that I've come to know. And yeah, it's um, yeah, a very personal thing. So how do you describe it in uh short for people who know nothing about supernova uh okay uh well supernova is uh, a, a love story which follows um a couple a middle-aged couple who are living with a diagnosis of young onset dementia so whilst they still can they plan a road trip around the north of england going to visit people from their past and family um and at the end of which Sam, Colin first character, is going to play a concert, a uh, piano concert that he's not he's not played uh, for a long time because he's, he's given up to look after his partner. Um, but as the journey progresses, various secrets are revealed, which puts their love to the test like never before. So, yeah, romantic, challenging, life affirming film, I think. That wasn't it, very short, sorry. No, no, but it's pretty much <laughs> nail on the head straight from the horse's mouth. But I wonder, being Pride Month and a beautiful film about two men in love, it's not a story that had to be that way either. Why did you choose that? Well, it, no, I suppose it's not a story that had to be that way. Um, but I'm very proud and thrilled that it has become a story um, about same-sex love because... I think it's a story about universal things, you know, love and death and companionship and romance and intimacy and all of that. And, you know, no one has ownership of that. Of course, it's a, they're all universal experiences. So, you know, I, I'm someone that wants to make original important stories. And it seemed to me that I'd not seen a same sex couple presented represented on screen in the way that we've done here certainly not of that age yeah. um you know and to, to sort of to tell a story in which a same sex couple are um you know for which their sexuality isn't mentioned isn't part of the narrative is nothing to do with the film other than their lived experience of course as characters that feels really refreshing and and, and i would say important yeah and you mentioned colin firth there and stanley tucci the other half i mean did you change anything once you knew they were on board or how did they come along in terms of the production of the film? Um, well, I mean, yeah, a little bit. Stanley came on board first of all, and then he suggested Colin for the other role because they're, they're best friends. I d- didn't know that at all. <laughs> and it turns out they had also given the script to him. Oh, wow. Uh, so uh, happily, they both kind of fell in love with it quite quickly, which was great. Um, and th- I mean, it, it sort of does, you, you sort of, you're constantly um, changing the film. I think. I think you, sh- you sh- the, the evolution of it always happens um, in, in the best possible way. I think those actors bring a, a lot to the characters, of course. Um, yeah. So yeah, that, they, they were amazing to work with. They're brilliant people. So. And the music side of things, you mentioned that you know this journey is on the road to that recital. Um, mm. Again, was that part of the grand plan of this? Was that part of the real life stories that this film is based on? Um, it was always part of the grand plan, but it, no, it wasn't. I mean, I think the the film isn't is absolutely nothing like any of the individual stories or individual relationships that I, um, you know, experienced doing my research. And I, I was really careful not to make it very similar to anyone I had met um, for obvious reasons. 
but um but yeah hopefully it's its own kind of organic thing which is kind of based on loads and loads and loads of experiences that i had you know sort of you draw from all of that really and try and make something that's its own thing in the end but um yeah and you but you really did research a lot of the medical side of this uh, harrowing disease as well i mean it is i know you wanted to tell a love story and use this as the backdrop but then you know researching this uh disease and finding out about it was that um a traumatic part or a disturbing part of this journey i think it's all it's all of those things um and it's also really really inspiring you know i think it's it's challenging stuff obviously and people that are going through it are having a you know a very difficult time but also there's so much that it does to a relationship and there's so many you know amazing things that it does to love and i think that's um that was the heart of it for me watching all of these people um live and survive and thrive sometimes um in 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 the face of this situation i was just really inspired by that where are you looking forward to uh, hearing about uh, this film being received most now that it's in this half of the world? I'm sure you have a lot of family and friends that finally can see it in a cinema now. Yeah, that's very true. I mean, it'd be, it's, it, I'm going to go up to the Lake District where we wish, where we shot it to do a few Q and A's in a few weeks. So that would be lovely because, you know, it's um, it's a film obviously that was entirely shot there and really supported by the local community there. So it'd be great to see all of those people again. I'm from the Midlands, so okay. going back home would be you know it's going to be great to watch it with family and friends and yeah i mean at some point hopefully come and see it in ireland with you guys yeah well it was part of our film festival unfortunately not in the cinema but yeah. uh, we'll have you any time is there anything else exciting you're working on that you can tell us anything about well i'm trying to write something else at the moment yeah it's in its very early stages so i can't really say a lot about it mainly because i still try to work out myself <laughs> exactly what it is but it's um yeah it's very different to this film um and uh yeah I'm, I'm very excited about it but it's in its embryonic stages well thank you for the journey you take us on um emotionally and uh in beautiful beautiful pictures like i said this is a great film to get back in the cinema for thank you for the visual feast and emotional roller coaster that is supernova really nice to meet you harry thanks Finn. really nice to meet you too thank you thank you